let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. Catching fish is a matter of problem solving. Finding them is only the first step. Then you have to figure out what they're eating and give them a reasonable facsimile. The real puzzle is where to present that bait to get them to hit consistently. If you know exactly where they're sitting, logic would suggest a presentation at eye level. While this may work some of the time, it's not always the case. The preferred strike zone can range anywhere from the surface to flat out on bottom. That requires multiple presentations to the same location, something most of us are in too much of a hurry for. One thing we've noticed in our years of underwater filming is that when all else fails, lifting a bait to just above eye level nearly always initiates a strike. From what we've seen, most fish have a decided preference of tilting upwards when feeding. This behavior appears to be a deeply embedded instinct within the majority of game fish species. Even if they know it isn't real food, wave it over their heads and they can't resist hitting again and again. Call it a reaction bite, if you will. Needless to say, sight fishing is a real advantage when using this deadly technique. If it's a tough bite and you're uncertain of where to present bait, go with a high percentage plan. Raising it to just above their heads is simply too much of a temptation. It's a common occurrence nearly every time we go fishing, missing out on a good hit. Though we hate to concede, a big reason why this happens is a lack of concentration at a critical time. What's most surprising is how often we get hit as our bait sinks after a cast. In fact, we've recorded hundreds of these drop-down strikes involving nearly everything in the swim. And you can't blame the fish. They're highly competitive and opportunistic. When something enters their world, they have to act immediately. Because fish can see above water, they move to intercept anything that looks edible. For anglers, the problem lies in the momentary loss of contact after a cast. With bait or spinning tackle, you need to engage the reel to make that contact. If you're switching hands, a lot of things can happen in that time span. Certainly, we do get lucky. Some fish take hold, run with it, and even rearrange the scenery while hooking themselves. But it's not always the case. Usually, by the time you catch up on current events, it's too late. Though limited in range, flipping is one solution and highly effective due to positive contact. However you choose to fish, the answer is to always maintain a tight line. And at all times, be prepared for big things to happen. 